guys welcome back um, in last video we saw how to create grid view using Flatlist and while I was creating this I was wondering if we can change the number of columns dynamically while the app is running uh, like you would have seen uh, in some of the apps where you will have an action button on clicking of that button user can change um, the layout of the list items from grid view to a normal list so I was trying to do that and I encountered the error and based on the error I was able to fix that and I was able to uh, successfully change it dynamically. So let's um, go to the code and I'll try to recreate the error and we'll fix it and, and see how it can be done. So first I'll add a button through which we'll be able to change the state basically state i'm referring to is the number of columns so i'll keep the title as change and we'll call on press we'll on press callback In the on press callback we have to change the state what we have here so what i'll do is first i'll access the state column this dot state and now i change the state by increment or maybe I'll change it back to 2 now we should after calling this we should have the number of columns as 2 and the flat list should render 2 columns so let's see whether that works so let's click on this button so on clicking of the button the change will happen but sadly we got the error and it says Changing number of columns on the fly is not supported. Change the key prop on Flatlist when changing the number of columns to force a fresh render of the component. So we can't change the number of columns on the fly like we are doing here. But what it's saying is we have to change the key prop on Flatlist. So as of now, we are not passing any key prop and if you remember we were passing a key prop when we created a list of items using a map function there uh, the key prop was required to identify uh, each element in same way uh, here we are being told to provide a key prop and then change the key prop when we want to change the number of columns in this way uh, the flat list will know um, that we are trying to change the number of columns and when we do that it will force uh, render the component so this is not the um, obviously um, the best way to change the number of columns nevertheless um, we will achieve the functionality um, let's see how we can do that so I will define a key prop for the flat list and I will add that to my state so initially i'll have a key value as one so first time when the flat list rendered the key value of the flat list will be one and when we click the button we change the key prop and all we will do is increment it by one right so this way we are changing the key prop when we change the number of columns and that will re-render the flat list and we should get what we expect so that is two columns great right so you also see this warning encounter two children with the same key um, that's because uh, here we have uh, images same images and I'm not creating any uh, no unique key uh, here I'm just using the same and also 
we were supposed to see four tigers, but rather we're just seeing two tigers. I think that's because of that. What I'll do is instead of tiger, let me add some other images. Crab and young young. young. Let me remove it and we should see five elements. So let's go ahead and check whether we're getting this element. All right, now we have three columns by default. And when I click this, we should have two columns with all the five elements rendered. All right, and we also don't see any uh, warning. So, as I said before, we were using the same images and I was using uh, the value what it was written by required so basically it would be 0 1 2 like that so that's why the key value wouldn't have changed and that's why those elements were not rendered so now you know we can dynamically uh, change so now I click that button again and I decremented the column values and now you can see um, it has become one one column which is our normal blacklist instead of a pretty so just for curiosity I'll click this again okay no item for index five so I guess not sure about this error but we know the column size is zero I guess that's why we are getting this but nevertheless, we know how how this is happening. So the other thing is, if you just want to toggle between a uh, grid view and the normal flat list, all you have to do is check the column value and change it accordingly, and that's very easy. You just quickly show it. I know you guys already know how to do this, but Let me just do it once. Uh, don't have to decrement here. So if the column size is three, then it will become one. Otherwise, it will be three. So let's check whether that is happening. Cool. So now we are able to toggle it. Okay. It looks good, right? Uh, we are able to toggle between list and the grid and the performance is not so bad and one thing is we need to check uh, this feature with more number of list items and see how the performance would be but other than that it looks good and I think we can use this in our apps production grid apps and that's it guys for this video and I hope uh, you got to learn something new and if you've been watching thanks for watching and till next time have fun coding bye